G'day everyone, Tim from VMix here. And in this video today, we're talking about resizable bar. Resizable bar or resizable base address register for short is an option for PCI that has been implemented by NVIDIA to allow for better data transfer between the CPU and the GPU. Resizable bar support is currently available on 3000 series GeForce cards, Ampere based professional workstation cards, and I'm sure plenty more cards moving forward. If you want to know a little bit more about Resizable Bar, how vMix uses it, and whether you need it, stick around. So previously on graphics cards, there was only a small amount of VRAM on the GPU that could be used for transferring data between the CPU and the GPU. This small amount was 256 meg of cache memory that vMix could use for live sources. Now, as video games have become more and more complex, there needs to be a greater flow of real-time data between the GPU and the CPU to process everything that is happening in your game. So as a result, Nvidia and AMD have implemented the latest PCI option of using all of the available RAM on the GPU instead of just that 256 meg chunk. Nvidia refer to this as resizable bar. AMD refers to this as smart access memory. But as we only support and recommend NVIDIA GPUs, we're only talking about resizable bar today. So as I'm sure you've heard us mention in the past, vMix heavily utilizes the GPU to increase reliability and performance. So it's great when new features like resizable bar come along so we can make your productions even better. Now, the great thing about modern day graphics cards is that they come with a huge amount of onboard RAM. And now with Resizable Bar, we can use a ton of this memory for your live sources in vMix. So let me just grab some of these cards here and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've just grabbed some GPUs from our wall of GPUs behind me here. I've got the RTX 3060, which offers 12 gigabytes of onboard memory. And then I have this crazy one here, which is the 3090, which offers 24 gig. Now this currently is very, very expensive. And while Martin's been away from the office, I did sell his car in order to buy it, don't tell him. But I figured a card for a car was a good deal. Now over the years we have been asked, should I emphasize the amount of RAM that my card has? Now, as cards have kind of become more and more powerful, there's been more and more memory and RAM put on the graphics cards. So typically they kind of start at six gigabyte, which is a huge amount of RAM. Um, so yeah, most people don't usually hit that GPU mem limit in vMix anyway with that 256 limit. But if you do, and then you need to add heaps more live sources and that sort of thing, then maybe look at a higher RAM card, but typically you probably won't need to, but if you wanna spare no expense and you find that you need it a lot, then go ahead and maybe get the 12 gigabyte version versus the six gigabyte version. Um, that's entirely up to you. Now, a little while back, vMix added a small meter in the bottom of the interface that measures GPU memory. Now you can see it down the bottom here that says GPU mem, and it has a little percentage next to it. So this measures how much of that 256 meg of GPU cache memory that vMix is using. So when this gets to 100%, then it's best to remove some sources or you are going to see some performance decreases. With resizable bar now, um, you can use much more of the RAM on the GPU, which means you can add more live inputs to your production. So this includes inputs like videos, cameras, and NDI. And there's a link in the description with more information about which inputs. So here's a quick example. Without resizable bar, vMix is restricted to only using a small amount of the memory. With resizable bar, vMix has access to much, much more, and everybody is a whole lot happier. So there is one slight issue, however, and that is that we currently don't have a way to measure this additional RAM that we have access to. So if you do have resizable bar enabled, you can go far beyond your GPU memory limit in vMix, as this particular meter is going to max out at 256 meg. Now you can go way, way above this now, and you're only going to start seeing performance problems when you hit the limit of your GPU. So unfortunately, we can't tell you exactly at what point that's going to kick in, but you'll need to just need to keep an eye on your CPU usage. Resizable bar needs to be supported by your motherboard, GPU, and CPU manufacturer. As it's new, a lot of the motherboards that are already in production don't support it natively. And as a result, 
um, you'll need to update the BIOS and firmware of the motherboard. So you will need to check your motherboard manufacturer to make sure they support it and then see if there's an update that you can install. Now I'm hoping that newer motherboards will have this natively supported so you don't have to go through this sort of process. Um, you may also need to update the drivers on your GPU depending on when you've bought it um, to make sure that it supports resizable bar. Um, it should by default, but you may want to check it anyway, uh, and you may need to update it, and you should probably update to the latest drivers anyway. So around here, we recommend NVIDIA cards and more specifically GeForce cards as they're really powerful and provide great encoding capabilities for live video. The 3000 series cards now support resizable bar, making them even more awesome for using vMix. Resizable bar support is also available in laptops with 3000 series GPUs. So I have my laptop connected up here. I've got this one sitting here uh, in my production. I've just got this sitting on the table and I'm just gonna show you the screen now so you can see this production that I've got set up. So I've got a pretty crazy production here just for this laptop. I've got heaps of NDI sources, live video playback, desktop capture, 4K 60 video files. I've crammed it full of stuff. And as you can see down the bottom here, my GPU memory is at 100%. Now you'll notice that my CPU is perfectly fine and that's because it's got resizable bar support and this GPU memory is kicking over into that and it's not affecting my production at all, which is really awesome. So in order to see if resizable bar is on here, we'll just close this down. We'll just right click the desktop, go to the Nvidia control panel, and then we can go through the settings to see about resizable bar. So we go down here to system information and that will load up our screen here. And as you can see here, it says resizable bar, yes. So that it means it's on. So these laptops were already configured to support resizable bar. So hopefully in the future, new laptops and PC motherboards will already have it pre-configured and good to go. Now, one thing is if you have the high input performance mode turned on, if you've turned that on in vMix, you'll need to turn that off when using resizable bar. So just go into the settings, Go to performance and then turn off high performance mode if you've turned that on. Tim, do I need resizable bar? Well, I wouldn't rush out and replace your current setup immediately just to get it. Especially if you're not already maxing out your GPU memory limit in vMix, there's no point in getting it because you're not going to need that additional GPU memory. So if you are looking to level up or upgrade your system, then yes, I'd recommend looking for a new GPU, CPU, and motherboard that have resizable bar support, you may as well have the latest and greatest if you are buying a new system. It's probably the, the best way to go. So for cards like the 3080, you might see quite large performance increases compared to previous generations, say 1080 and 2080, perhaps even double the amount of live sources. So if you wanna know more about resizable bar, I'll link some articles in the description that'll probably explain it a little bit better than I can if you wanna read more about it. I'll also include the vMix knowledge base article about the GPU memory and resizable bar. Now, if you do have any questions about vMix or support questions, feel free to drop us an email by the support page on vmix.com. That way we can check out your full settings, see exactly what you're doing, and then help diagnose any issues you might have. It's a bit hard to do by YouTube comments, surprisingly enough. Uh, as resizable bar supports a lot to do with hardware and firmware updates and all that kind of stuff, unfortunately, we may not be able to help too much with that. So you're best off checking out your manufacturer about what they recommend and maybe having a look online about other people's experiences with updating to resizable bar and getting it to work. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later.